guys welcome back to another review and we're going to review married at first sight it is getting ready to start back up you guys yay so this is called matchmaking so the whole process of them trying to find the couples that's going to now be on this season so stay tuned as we give you guys a review a uh, review not the whole show a uh, review some people got it confused they thought they were going to be watching the whole show, but it's a review, not the show. The review of the show. Gotcha. PSA. All right. Hey, guys. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Courtney, and this is my husband. E. Dub. Kind of sore back but I'm gonna push through it but my name E-Dub now that we have already said that you know we're giving our ailments and letting everybody know our condition and what state of mind we're in we're gonna go ahead and continue so if you this is your first time joining please make sure that you subscribe to this amazing channel welcome to our family the co-ed family and let me tell you what this channel is all about this channel is about us we do relationship topics reviews and right now we're going to do a recap on married at first sight and i forget what season it is 10 12 11 one of them so yeah i ain't finna say it because y'all gonna come for us in the comments come for me you know y'all been doing that a lot lately but hey i'm resilient baby i bounce back hello and with the help of my husband he will get you he'll get you now don't 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 let you know what he's saying about that? Oh, okay then. i'll take care of it i take care of it first of all i didn't even say that <laughs> I didn't do that. no i was already with my trigger fingers ready to go in myself so you know hey it is what it is all right so let's go ahead and get started now i first want to say I did, you know, sometimes when you look at a picture, you just kind of like, mm -hmm. and I just didn't initially too much care for the couple just by looking at their actual pictures when they did post them. I was like, mm -hmm. but when I actually got a chance to watch them, it was really, I was like, okay, I can see some of them. I like their personalities. I kind of like, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So first we're going to start and I'm going to try to put these clips in here because some of you may not have gotten a chance to watch it. You don't even know who we're talking about. So I'm going to try to put these clips in here. So we're going to start with Carla and Ryan. That's right. I'm bootleg. Y'all see them? No. <laughs> with that crack phone. <laughs> So let's start with Carla. She's 27 years old. She's a flight attendant. Ooh, they get a lot of play. Yeah, you know, the flight attendant, yeah. this flight attendant seems like she got an apartment mm. versus the other flight attendant, Christina, where she had trunk. no apartment. She, she lived out of a trunk and a car, right? Yeah. Uh, SUV. Yeah. So, um, so Carla is flight attendant. She's 27. She likes all flavor of the rainbow. So she made that sure. And she is a, um, she's vocal about her social rights as far as women rights. And she didn't say black lives matter, but it seems like she is into all those rights and she wants her husband to be a part of that kind of, you know, um, activist thing. Um, she loves her dog. She doesn't want to live by herself. So she wants, she wants to get married. She don't want to live alone. So she wants to eventually get married and, um, she seems okay. Oh, yeah. 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 She seems like, she seems like she's a. Uh, very, very liberal type of woman. Yeah. Uh, let's keep it real. She likes her brothers. Let's keep it real. She likes her brothers. Uh, but yeah, she seems like she's real liberal and, you know, being in a, in a lounge, right? You know, fast paced lifestyle, a flight attendant. Now, question is, being a flight attendant, I mean, she travels a lot. So, is she really... Ready to Ready sell it down. Sell it down cause that's a lot of travel been away from the house. Good question. I wonder who she traveled with. Who she worked for. Uh, if she worked for uh, Spirit, hey, she ain't coming back. <laughs> <laughs> so they matched her up with her soon to be husband, which is Ryan. And Ryan is black. But he's a, I just want to put that out there just in case we don't get the clips in here, but he's black. Okay. You don't think so? He, he's, he's mixed. He's mixed, but he's, 
he grew up in you know in a predominantly uh, white. Yeah, conservative, conservative, as he would put it, neighborhood lifestyle. So let me tell you a little bit more about Ryan. Ryan is a project manager for a software company. He um, he said that he did, did experience, like you know, you just said he did experience a little racism, you know, growing up being in a majority and, white, yeah, predominant white neighborhood, yeah, white high school. school, yeah, and. Uh, and, and let's keep it real. That's all he knows, you know. And I, I probably see me personally. I don't see them as a match. Let me let me, let okay, me go, ahead, go, ahead, go, ahead, go ahead. And also that um, he wants to fall in love. He's seen his his I think his parents. He's seen you know his friends, his siblings, everybody around him being in love. I think he went on a couple trip with three or four couples, and he was the only one that was solo. So and they had done that. I remember one time I was the third wheel. A homeboy and his old lady went to the movie. I just sitting there by myself, eating my popcorn, shaking my head. I don't know what movie we watching. <laughs> <laughs> and also, now the kicker is he's never been in love. He's never said I love you. And he's never been in love. Now that is a problem for Pastor Cal because he was like, you know, um, I think even the experts when they came together, it was like, you know. How is it going to be if he's never said it? You know, will he, you know, run? I mean, you know, what will be the dynamic dynamic of that? Is it going to be, you know, is it going to feel comfortable for him to say that to her? You right. know what I'm saying? You know, he never said it to somebody. So, me, oh, I really don't know about this one, but go ahead. And also, I and the reason I don't know about this one as well is I, anyway, because at the end, Pastor Kyle, you know, got ready to tell all the couples, hey, you know, you, you made it, you made it, you made it, um, Pastor Kyle and all the other experts. Um, so he got ready to tell her and, and he was like, well, you know, how's it going? She was like, well, you know, my ex-boyfriend, he called me. And, and so, you know, Pascal was like, okay, what happened? Well, you know, um, we went on a date. I just wanted to see, did I have any feelings ah, for him? Don't and, believe that, man. And he was like, well, do you? And so she was like, well, you know, after no, I realized it was just basically a booty call. So he's been calling me ever since. So he was like, well, you know, have you been entertaining? No. He said, yeah, block sure. him. Yeah. Well, she said, I'm going to block him right now. But pull out your phone. Let's block him. So and, then he and, told and when he when he was blocking, oh boy, you can see the expression of face like oh this is gonna be tough why are you gonna block them because i really think they had something going on that's me personally you know now, what i'm saying then she said they hadn't talked in eight months yeah so he gonna pop he gonna pop back up well Come maybe on. he knows she's doing the show well, regardless of the point you know then that. you know why go out with the guy knowing that it's a chance he might go on the show okay you gonna go out i'm just gonna go out to see yeah, see how it. if i got anything left for when you're done you're done yeah you're done you're done hey sure. come on by that Let's man see. she went out with him because she wanted to and when she found out she was on the show she made up that lame excuse that's just my opinion all right, so let's move on. I like your opinion i want to say them for last so let's move no, on why? no we're gonna put them in order going to put them in order. Ain't this, nobody special on this show. First of all, that's the order I sent you in the text. Ah, it ain't that. It ain't no order. put them in order. Okay, you go trying uh -uh. to say somebody so like, like he's too special. I ain't getting uh -uh. nobody no special No, treatment. let's go. On, go on. Let's go with him. Mm. So now let's move on to... Paige and Chris. You so bootleg. They can't even see this. <laughs> so Paige and Chris. Now, I think that Paige and Chris are going to bring some little excitement as we've seen on the uh, commercials. Um, the skip is of it. Somebody pregnant in like um, Chris got his head on the table. I don't know. So, we know it ain't Alicia because she was pregnant on Love and... Uh, uh, well, who said Paige ain't pregnant <laughs> already? What is it? Um, Alicia on uh, Ready to Love. You know, she was came on the show, honey. She was four months pregnant, oh, but that's a whole nother video. You went there. So, you went there. But, so, um, yeah. So, I, I think that Chris and Paige, you know... So, let's talk about Chris. Chris is a finance manager. And as I was watching for the second time with my husband, because he missed the first time, um, he I found that they... I missed that part he's a restaurant owner so hey uh, Chris got going on he was in the church you know it seems like his whole family's uh, family is 
um, like in the church, you know, they're pastors, they're preachers and everything. And so he tried it. He didn't make no money. So yeah, he to me, <laughs> to me, that's a bad <laughs> thing to say. Well, I, I don't want to save souls because with no money in it. Uh, that's not, yeah, right there was a strike, strike one. Listen, so he said he don't think that God called him today. I guess uh, he said he no money. <laughs> Come on. No, that's a different story, but, but, but I don't but, agree with but that. But check this out. I'd rather for him to be honest than get in it and try to hustle and scheme and scam people. Ooh, so if so you, he didn't try to do that. It's been paying out for him. That's why he went to Florida. You ran for a reason, bro. What you run for? He ran to Florida yeah, and came yeah, back. Yeah, came back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I need to Google him, see if he got any dirt on him. All right. So, um, let's see. He he ended up being homeless as and, well. And he was in Florida. He went down to Florida to become a car salesman. Mm-hmm. And I guess he did so well. And somebody called him back to Atlanta to do, uh, what do you think, financial manager? I guess, because I got notes down here, but you trying to freestyle. memory, man. I, I, ch- 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 ch. But yeah, hey, no props to the brother, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He came for nothing and builds himself. No, no, yeah. no hating, man. But Started from the bottom. Now he worked his way, t- worked, and, worked way to the top. he up there, you know, with, with all of his suits, fine suits and yeah, linens on. And all of drinking his Drinking no wine like everybody Rupertons. else on the show. And everything, make it six figures. So, you know, um, his last relationship ended three months ago. So, I don't think mm, he said what happened in that. That's kind of fresh in my opinion. It three is months. Fresh. It is fresh. So, let's move on to his wife, Paige, which is 26 years old. She is at, don't read, if you were freestyle, baby, don't read my notes. Don't try to read my notes. Well, she did dealt to no, nah, they didn't even show. I don't even know why they put them people in there when they were part of the show. Yeah, yeah y'all could have came feel me. I could have gotten on the show for five minutes. Uh, I'm ready for love. For, uh, but you popped out. What you talking about? You ready for love? You know you got... <laughs> All in your head. Paige is 26 years old. She's an accountant, and she's also a realtor. And she ended up buying her own home and, and renting it out. And I, 26 years old, man. You go, hey. girl. It's some movers and shakers, man. So, um, to talk about her lineage, um, she talked about her parents, that oh. her mom was married three times, divorced three times, dad her dad twice. was married twice, and divorced once. I was Rough, like, God, I gotta break that, got to break that curse. So, man. she did say that she is um, breaking, trying to break the generational curse. Um, she wanted to be married at a young age. She seems like um, her purpose in life is to have a child. And oh. Chris won. How many kids? Seven children. Who and they right now in this day and age gonna have seven chillings? Mm-hmm. Huh? Ain't, ain't no way, man. Come on, man. The way the world is, man. You gonna put the kids through all that threefold? Yeah, but seven. So she Paige says she wants to have at least, at least three. You know, two or three children yeah, so in a few years after marriage. Somebody got compromised. So she said that she is ready to love, um, and she's ready to love on her man. What? You look, you freestyle, handle it, handle it. So she, um, so this right here is an answer prayer for her because she's just ready, truly, to give her man all she got and really to love her. Now, what did the doc, uh, the pastor say? The doctors. And now, Pastor Kyle, Kyle did say, I don't know if he was throwing them shade or something, but Pastor Kyle said, but what he said, you the one telling me? No, I'm just saying he feels like he, uh, Chris is so particular. Yeah. Right. That he might not be feeling uh, Paige. Paige, and uh, and I want to warn him to ask why he felt that way. Right. You know, and if that if Chris is that particular about knowing what type of person you want to be with, how she look, how tall she is, he should never came on the show. Yeah. And if he's that particular, like he said, uh, like uh, Pastor Kyle, Pastor Kyle said he is. I think they might have some issues, man. So, you know, um, Dr. Pepper did say, you know, she got a nice body. I guess Dr. Pepper was saying she got booty and all but, that stuff. Like, maybe that's what Chris wants. Yeah, you but, know. you know, she, that's her opinion about the body. Chris' opinion might be totally different. Yeah. One thing that the Pastor Guy did, he did go around and he went to their homes and, you know, they all did. But they, when they got on that kitchen thing, uh, Chris... Say he eat out every day. 
that's a problem. You know what I'm saying? Could And most of them on the people on the show seem like they don't, you know, I guess they live in that single life, but still, like, you would cook at least a couple times a week. I would Last think. season, they didn't go to their house, did they? They did. I just didn't watch. I normally don't watch this very tip of the beginning. How did they miss that old girl last season when she that's was what, in the car? That's what they were saying. People were saying, what, who house they went to for Christina? So she, like, uh, she went on with the uh, Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> she my home. It was like, why you got no pictures in here? You? <laughs> All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. That last okay, season. so now let's move on to the next. So tell us what y'all think about each couple. If you got a chance to watch them, what do y'all think about their vibe? Are they going to work? Is this? I think it's going to be a pretty good season, so I'm excited. Uh, the next couple is going to be bootleg. Virginia and Eric. See? <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about Virginia, which is 26 years old, and she's a customer customer experience agent. Um, she seems like the fun girl. She's the party girl. She likes to drink and everything. Um, her parents were divorced, and it was very hard for her to, you know, get back, you know, grab that. I think they got back together, then they got divorced again, or whatever. So they was on this yo-yo. She's been single for five years, and she wants to be all in with somebody. So whoever her husband is, she wants to be all in. So, yeah, she's 26. So what you thought about her? Oh, uh, she, you know... I, I, you know, it's not too much to say about her right now, but from her past experience with her parents going back and forth and doing that roller coaster relationship, hopefully that hasn't done anything to her mentally. Right. When she if she won't bring it. Hard. Yeah. So she won't bring that to a relationship. Right. Well, my mom and dad, they yeah. in and out, maybe yeah. you know something. So we, we have to wait and see on that one. All right, so she is marrying or married Eric, which is a pilot, and Eric is 34 years old, oh, he's and old. he's divorced. So this is the very first time that Married at First Sight is taking a divorcee and probably the, the big old huge age gap. I don't know. No, it's, it's second, but yeah. But. So, um, so yeah, he's, in, he's a, a pilot, and he is in the Air Force Reserve. Um, uh, his last marriage failed. And they, and, but due to him, go ahead. Oh, due to him being in the military, then. And I was telling her, being married in the military is rough. You got to have that commitment because you, your space, your, your spouse is going to be gone most of the time. They're going to be abroad most of the time. They're going to be just basically serving their uh, serve country. And you got to have a dedicated spouse to stay with a military person. And that's why his last relationship failed. And on this relationship, he's still in the Air Force Reserve. So that means he can still get called to duty. Now, that's going to be if she's willing to deal with that. Now, he was um, divorced. He's been divorced now for three years. And now he said that he's more his career is more complete. And now he's at a settled place. And now he's ready to add a wife to, you know, his, his you dogs. Know. Oh yeah, yeah, they all they all got dogs and they drink wine on this show. They do drink wine a <laughs> lot. <laughs> so yeah, he's now ready. He wants somebody that wants to love, and he's a jokester. He likes to laugh and have fun and stuff. I don't know. He seems like he got some dry sense of humor. Yeah, he don't seem. Maybe his sense of humor is totally different from Miles. I just don't see him as. I hope he's not a Brit. Yeah, I don't see him just being. So outgoing and hee hee ha ha. And see, me. that's why I'm saying she's a party girl. She's that social butterfly. Yeah. And he just like. He's so isolated. He's a introvert. And, you know, he, he flies planes and everything. That's all. To be around his family, that's it. And they paired them together because she likes to travel. But he said, and because he a pilot. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But. I don't know. He said he want to go eat out, you know, and go out. But I don't know about doing a whole bunch of traveling. So, I don't know. They just seem like a weird Yeah, match. that was a weird match. Especially him being used to being, or still him in the military. He done a lot of traveling already. Yeah. So, you know, but we, we shall see. Who's next? Haley and Jacob. Stay fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Haley. Okay, so Haley is 28 years old. She kind of remind me of Olivia a little bit, y'all. But she's 28 from last season. She's 28 years old. She's a sales rep. Um, she haven't been co in a committed relationship since she was 21 years old. Oh. Uh, Seven years. 21. When you're 21, you don't even know what you want for real. Right, so. Right. And even before that, how long was that relationship? And she said she's been a bridesmaid 14 times. 
14 thing. I'd be was, like, just count me out, babe. I'd be a hostess or something. Yeah, hey, she going money. to friends. Hey, we about to get married. Who we need to call for a bridesmaid? Got on speed dial. <laughs> <laughs> I make 14 times. That's a lot. That's, That's a lot. lot. That's I a mean, lot. was you just like a bag up or something, or you got that many friends? Maybe she just look good in pictures and they don't use her for a bridesmaid. Mm, you have to pay me then. She said she's been in two serious relationships. Now, mind you, she hadn't been one in five years. She was 21 when she was in the last one, but she'd been in two serious relationships, and her last boyfriend got somebody that's pregnant. And yeah. she let that go. Yeah. And then the one before that was on drugs and, alcohol, drugs and alcohol. And she just needed a break to work on herself. So I was like, well, ooh, yeah. 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 Well, why work on yourself when it's basically deep doing all the dirt? But, okay. Well, yeah, you got to heal from that stuff. Because sometimes okay. people take that stuff personally. Like, they, what did they do wrong? So, yeah. All right. So, that was Haley. So, what do y'all think about Haley? Uh, um, mm, she wants to travel a lot. So, you know. She's married to Jacob, which is 38 years old. He's a senior IT programmer. He was, um, he, he's trying to compare himself to him, but let's get to this part. <laughs> <laughs> I think like he's a guy with all the comments. Hold, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Press ball. He was uh, into weightlifting because him and his brother started competing. I think his brother started first and he started competing. He ended up being his brother. So he got all these muscles and all this stuff. I and had show, all that, man. Him doing you that. see that? Oh, man. My oh, See, my back hurts right now. I can't even lift weights right now. So so um, he wants, um, let me see what my notes is. He, oh, yeah. That's what my husband talked about. Because... Jacob waited. He waited to get in a serious relationship or to get married. In his 20s, he was like, too much opportunity out here. I can't do it now. All right, don't tie me down. In his 30s, he was like, hold up, wait a minute now. No, get, no, early 30s, you still out there. I said, oh, can't get tied down. When you get to late 30s. 35. <laughs> 35, he was like, man, what time go? <laughs> I got to hurry and tie this down. So that's, Jacob said that. So yeah, he's now ready to get married. And um, Pastor Cal, when he was going around talking about, you know, the kitchen and the cooking and all that stuff, whatever, he eats steaks and eggs, and he's been doing that every day for three years. Well, he do it for protein. Yeah. He's a weightlifter and bodybuilder. And, uh, and I like him because, you know, he plays video games. He watch, he's stuck in the 80s. I'm stuck in the 80s, too, man. Stuck in the 80s. And, you know, he just got that quirky type of humor and personality. And it's, you know... Hey, I like. I'm pulling for. So, um, yeah, he built pretty much a beach in his backyard. Oh, yeah. He loves his dogs, and you know, for them to be in Atlanta, you know, of course, I'm gonna pay attention to almost everything. You know, every, just about everybody else in them apartments, because you know, Atlanta full of apartments. If y'all don't know, they full of sky rise, high rise, and all the that only stuff. Two people I don't see in the park was him. He know. was in a house, and who else? The uh, what's the name? Uh, go back to my notes. Hey, hey, first show now. Don't, don't give me no slack now. Uh, Eric. I think he was in the house. Oh. Eric had the big house. He had a nice house. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, Eric. Okay, I see how you're rolling. Um, so, yeah. So, they were in houses, but everybody else was what? On their back and the sipping their wine. I said, why they got... What did they, they get this wine from, man? <laughs> I want some. <laughs> yeah, like slow motion and wine. Yes. Okay. And you know they're doing a lot of filming outside because of the virus. So, right. you know, that's why they're not in their homes mainly. Um, but, yeah, so... I oh, know. I forgot one. I, I ain't do. No, I skipped one. My bad. Shoot. Who? Vincent. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't through. Okay, go ahead. So now let's move on to the next one. Vincent and Brianna. I like them. Yeah, I like them. I'm pulling. This is my favorite couple right here. So yeah, far. Is it? Yeah. Okay, so Vincent is a. He's 28 years old. He's an auto broker, and <clears throat> this is what one thing that you know I said. Like, okay, Vincent, and pull me on in there. So he gave most of his shoes away to a homeless guy that was a down that was down the street. So yeah, that's when you know Pascal would look their closets and kind of see how they live and stuff. So Pascal was like, "Oh man, like you, I right, do." Yeah. See, that's the difference between to me person. That's the difference between Vince and Chris. Chris ain't gonna give his shoes away. <laughs> right. You know, Vince he gave his shoes away because he felt okay. I'm better off. You know what I'm saying? So I see this dude struggling, so I'm gonna get my shoes to help him out. Chris. I don't see that. Him. I don't see him doing that. So, um, Chris, let's move on. Chris, 
Vincent. Vincent. Sorry. Ooh, y'all gonna come out. Uh, come on. Vince. Vincent. She don't even know the name. I know. They don't know <laughs> Vincent is, um, he grew up without a family. And um, and he's he wasn't in a good place with his parents. And I think he had, him and his father was just having some issues. So he mm. wasn't able to really build a relationship with his father. So he wants to be a super dad to his children, you know, when he get ready to have it. His last relationship ended because he wanted to start his own business. But she wanted him to be in corporate America. And it, because he did not have a, a degree. degree. Man, that's to me. Oh, so, that sounds so like Atlanta, pet. though, though. Yeah, it sounds like Atlanta. <laughs> It's all by titles and image. you know what you and image and you know, for him to for her to break up with him because of that. Yeah, sorry no, so, if y'all in Atlanta, we not yeah, talking about anybody. No, so you gotta support your brother, man. He he trying to do big and better things, man, better things, and you didn't support him because you know it's what you want him to do. Yeah, and he didn't have a degree. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah but yeah. I man. hope she got somebody just what you just because you get somebody like that don't mean they're gonna treat you right. Yeah. Well, he can have all the degrees hmm. in the world and hmm. work corporate America and have four or five families out there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, at least he got a job. He at least he worked corporate America and got a degree. Hey, well, he, he cheated on split, splitting all that income. So I like Vincent and um. Judging by the pictures at first, I didn't think that, you know, but I do like him. And um, so, yeah, now let's move on to his bride, which is Brianna. Brianna, Brianna, um, 28 years old, and she's an engineer. Smart nice, girl. pretty, chocolate little girl. Smart I mean, girl. Mean, lady. I'm sorry, smart lady. Just intelligent. Ooh. What the old woman call me? I know, girl? right? Little <laughs> <laughs> girl. <laughs> So but yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I like her too. Uh, uh, I, I hope they make. It. I really do. She is. Um, she's been told now. She scared me because I hope we ain't got another Karen on our hands. Oh, yeah, she's been told no. that she is a slow starter and she may not be open and receptive to affection, and so she doesn't open up easy. She wants her husband to make more. Um, she want her husband to make more than her. She let that be known. Go ahead. Now, girl. that's the only issue I have <laughs> with her, man. Okay, yeah, it's a lot of things a person want in another person, but you might not get it. So yeah, be, but you got a man that is an entrepreneur, yeah, he, he hard got, worker, yeah, and he's he a got, business right, owner. So, yeah, right. he grinding. He when grind. you're an entrepreneur, you're a grinder. Yeah, you're you a grind, man. So, especially <laughs> in Atlanta, too. Oh, Come yeah. On, man. She, um, she's very clean and organized, although Eddie said she make up the bed. Yeah, yeah, but woo! She, man, I said, man, that bed don't look tight. That's because you arm um, and nah, man, that bed don't look tight. tight. I can't get mm-hmm. the bed tight like you do. No, that bed don't look tight. You gotta I'm get so the, glad yeah, you gotta get clean, the covers man. real tight so when you put a corner on it, it should bounce back nah, up. No, it don't be that tight, Jeremy. Nah, dude. Not yeah, the bed. No, 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 because you be, bed. Yeah, because you, oh, I gotta take a break. <laughs> you wear the bed out. Always in the bed, lounging, and I'm out there struggling. You be downstairs in your man cave going... <laughs> That's where you be. <laughs> okay, so she's very clean and organized. Um, she said that she, she's a goofball full of energy, and it takes her a minute to love. So that's why I was a little concerned about that. I think, you know? she'll be, I think they're mm-hmm. going to be all right. I think they're going to be all right. So, yeah, um, Pastor Cal, yeah, did. I think, I don't know if they said something about that, but, yeah. So, y'all tell me what y'all think. I am. I have one question to ask the audience here. Now, they were showing people that didn't make the cut. They went to their houses and whatnot. Yeah. Now, one guy had straps in his dresser drawer. Tell me, what are those straps used for? Is he trying to strap down some cargo? And why are you going to have it in the bedroom in your dresser drawer? I don't know. Inform me. No, you don't. It- don't put that vulgar or whatever in the I don't know what it could be. Well, if it's something that you maybe not know and then I they put in the comments and they tell you what you want for. What you need to know for. Nobody strapping you down, child. So let's keep moving. All right. What are you trying to say? I'm not strap worthy. Yeah, you strap worthy. <laughs> <laughs> strap uh, down, okay, down, like a little deal. All right. All right. All right, you guys. So <laughs> on that note, y'all tell me what y'all think. Who is your favorite couple? For me, so far, it's gonna have to be Vince and Brianna. Brianna. Yeah. My second one on, I think that's gonna bring some drama is Paige and Chris. Uh, yeah, Paige and Chris down at the bottom for me. 
Yeah, uh, I think they're going to bring it. I don't think they're going to bring it. you seen that man? He was talking about, is that matter pregnant? And he was uh, all on the and table. And that's his fraud. They're too dramatic, man. We don't need all that dramatic stuff. We get that from the other shows. Like going on the show with five months pregnant already. We get that from other shows, man. We need some good, wholesome entertainment. That's okay. it. That we can review. And y'all know saw so the Pepper movie coming out. We Ooh, never gonna get that. That gonna be lit, push, boy. Push. That gonna be lit. And they said Ty Perry did the wigs again. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, you guys, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. We want to tell you a happy, happy new year. We appreciate you guys for rocking with us in 2020. It has not been easy for, for a lot of people, and oh. it's been, you know, kind of traumatic. So, you know, if you've experienced something and, you know, some passing of a loved one or some kind of tragedy in 2020, I'm so sorry. And I pray that your 2021 is amazing because I know ours will be. So I thank you guys for the new people that have joined the Coed family. Y'all, we got some more content and not just that we have some things that are coming out in 2021 that we want to make sure that we give to you guys i want to say this that this channel is not about greed it's not about money so when i open up the membership or the patreon it's really and truly because i want to give to you guys more on a personal level so it's not to be able to get more money and things like that on this channel because we're not about that you know heck, we do giving and giveaways and stuff like that so we give back we try to give back if anything so i wanted to say that you guys and i appreciate you guys for again rocking with us yeah i want to say this too you know like she said 2020 been rough it has uh but we're gonna speak this in the atmosphere 2021 is gonna be solid everybody gonna be doing fine 2021 we're gonna put in the atmosphere we're gonna do well everything's gonna be better and we're gonna just put that in the atmosphere yeah we know 2020 like ah but we made it through it and Man. and we're gonna pray for the ones that suffer loss uh, some people lost their loved ones, some people lost jobs, uh, some people that just kind of just lost their sanity. Mm. So, uh, but 2021 is going to be a better year. Amen. Okay, it's going to be a better year, and we're going to be here for it all. Amen. With jokes and everything. Amen. Yeah, man, sure enough is. Sure enough is. Because we know why? We keep it real. Yep. And the deacon has spoken. Do y'all want to take up the tithes and offer? <laughs> <laughs> all right you guys so we love you so 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 much don't forget to do what go with god and let god go with you and we will see you in 2021 deuces why i gotta be deacon all the time i'm not a deacon no you're not he yeah. act like you do <laughs>